When El Manzor set foot on Cambridge Stud in 2018, he ushered in a new era for our iconic farm. Legacy was both behind and ahead of him. His own left on the racetracks of Europe, before him the hoof prints left by the giants of New Zealand's breeding industry. El Manzor was a stakes-winning juvenile and undefeated in his first three starts. However, it was his Cartier Award-winning three-year-old season that defined his racetrack ability. The first of his three Group 1 wins came in the French Derby. He's to lead the way and has stretched on by a length and a half. Robin of Navan now being chased down by Talismanic. Here from the back of the field, Almanzor has come bursting through. Zarak is running on and it's Almanzor who now goes to the front. Zarak and Dicton fly on the outside, but almanzor has gone two, three lengths clear. Zarak is in pursuit, but it's Almanzor from Zarak in the run to the line. Almanzor wins it, Zarak second. A further Group 2 win confirmed El Manzor's standing as the top colt of his generation in France and gave trainer Jean-Claude Rouget the courage to test him on the international stage. His first international competition was the Irish Champion Stakes against older horses under wait for age conditions. Two and a half furlongs to go on the race, success days in the centre, making ground pink cap, new bag between horses. It's Highland Rail found in the centre of the track, makes ground. Almanzor is eating up the ground on the outside. They race now towards the final 200 yards, and it's Almanzor and found. These two locked together, they're racing up towards the finish in a champion class. And it's Almanzor! It's French Day at the Champion State! Rouget's faith in El Manzor was rewarded as he famously defeated the strongest field assembled in Europe that year. Left in his wake were no less than seven Group 1 winners, including Epsom and Irish derby hero Hazand, Belly Doyle's subsequent Arc de Triomphe winner found, seven time Group 1 winner Minding international star Highland Reel, and the likes of My Dreamboat, New Bay, and Hawkbill. If the Irish Champion Stakes was El Manzor's breakout performance, then the Champion Stakes at Ascot was his crowning moment. Covered by racing history, US Army Ranger Al Manzur angling off the rail is alongside found as the Grey Gatsby in racing history are the first two to commit. Al Mansour still held together by Sumion, found towards the outside, then US Army Ranger, the Kipco champion stakes, and that title is up for grabs. Al Mansour in the pale blue, found is trying to reel him in, but it's Al Mansour once again repelling found. There is no doubt he is a champion. Al Mansour. What a season for Jean-Claude Rouget and Christophe Simeon. With his customary blistering turn of foot, El Manzor left no doubt that he was the European champion three-year-old of 2016 and was subsequently rated the world's best turf horse alongside Winx with a time form rating of 133. Coupled with El Manzor's phenomenal race record as a world-class pedigree, he is the best performed son of sire sensation Wooten Bassett whose meteoric rise led to his purchase by Coolmore, where he will stand for a fee of €100,000 in 2021. A European champion racehorse, rated equal to Winx as the world's best turf horse of 2016, a three-time Group 1 winner, the winner of eight of his 11 starts. We believe Almanzor is the best credentialed stallion to continue the legacy of Cambridge Stud.